Hi and welcome. So yeah, this is the design of a heart rate simple project. Um, very simple. You can use on the design section here, and uh, again, creating objects and rename the target objects. Okay. So let's go to code now. First, I want to define um, the screen height so I can measure the bounce of the ball later on. And in this case, I'm using 480. It depends on your screen or probably your idea. Now, I want to go with the step one because um, we are already one step ahead, so it's not going to go from zero. This is one of my scratch idea before going to the code. So there you go, bounce frequency, so it will bounce about 10 times and now I'm doing going to uh, create the uh, flow components so it will show the uh, main screen before going to the uh, you know the animation screen of the of the ball itself okay so as usual we create the flow component and show next now we're going to um, define the object um, and the event which is start in this case and flow show next go to our board so basically going to the next our board in this case so okay it works um, now we're going to back to the uh, main uh, thing that we're going to make here which is the ball bounce and wave so here we're going to use the wave cosine in math you know wave cosine patterns in this case so Let's just go ahead and start using the interval by 0.02 so the, the movement will pretty much not too slow but not too fast itself and then adding step 0.01 um, by the time and then here we're going to use the pattern of maximum height which is uh, equals to screen which is the screen height and uh, defined by using the math uh, command here dot exponent of the step so we change the uh, step to an exponent and we define it to uh, the screen height in this case to add some some kind of measured uh, height of the uh, wave in this case so now we're going to define the cosine wave which is again the maximum height times math.tan here again so we're going to create a, uh, a like sort of like a smooth wave um, so here I'm using the tan of um, the step times about uh, 0.6 um, it's kind of uh, you know just like a raw measurement you know you can basically use your own number as well and it uh, times bounce frequencies in this case so it will still follow the uh, how many pounds it will it will do on the event of on tap so now we're going to create um, the bounce here which is um, I'm using the absolute of the constant wave so it's going to be negative um, so it will go upwards and downwards in this case um, something like that um, yeah uh, the, this number you know you can try this number uh, input several other numbers in, in case you want to uh, experiment on how it works okay so after that of course we already defined the uh, bounds the wave the maximum height of course we want to define the maximum y of uh, the maximum height that the ball can reach during its uh, intersection um, of the animation okay so of course it bounce plus screen height uh, very simple I think and we're going to define ball.x which is the horizontal movement which is still about like 50 in this case step times 50 so let's let's try and yeah it, it, it works it works perfect and you can as well as trying to uh, change the number inputs from the cosine wave um, uh, the smaller the number it will go smaller you know the, the wave will uh, transform into smaller waves so um, yeah let's try probably 0 0.4 yeah maybe 0 0.4 okay so as you can see the uh, the wave isn't too big anymore it's not too wide as before so yeah there we go um, we got the sequence and we got the pattern so this is this is how it works. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe to support this channel. Bye-bye.